We'll start with the Mustard C53S, a curved, long curved nymph hook. And what I've done with a pair of pliers, about two fifths of the way along the hook shank, I've just given it a little bend. So, take our tying thread, I'm using black, and I just go all the way back down into the bend of the hook. Put that all the way, just about there. We'll cut that off. So, what we need now is some synthetic quilt, and I'm going to tie these in two each side. Put them over the hook junk like that. Tighten that in so they get drawn onto that side. And just tie a bit of that down. There we go, can trim those off. And then two more, same length, on this side of the hook. And just tie those in there. Position them as you go down. to the side. Good, I'll bend these later or I'll, I'll put a curve in them. There we go, trim those off. Now we want some dark tan nymph skin. We cut the end like this, just run the tying thread back down and we'll tie that in right down at the base. like so, and move our thighing thread up to just before you bent the hook. And then we'll start wrapping the abdomen. the bend and I'll go back and tie that off and you've got the abdomen finished. I'll just remove that, stretch it when you cut and that will disappear under the tying thread. Now I'll show you what happens with the CDC. We need some CDC later but Sorry, that's the wrong one. When you put the CDC in a magic clip, I'm using three CDC hackles here. You transfer it over to the clip and then with long straight scissors, you trim off the hackle stems. Now, these stems, that are left, we're going to use for the legs later, so don't throw them away. So, I took two of the stems and we place these each side of the abdomen and we tie these in. Position them. too long. There we go. We can tie these off. And just trim off that. Does okay. that. Then the CDC that you got in the clip, you get another clip, you cut that edge straight, you got another clip, you put that on, remove that, and then you make that edge straight. 
so split your tying thread like so it's a bit too thin on one side it has to be more central to CDC in the clip place that in there give it a spin And we wind it back and we want a little part of the rear abdomen made. Like so. There we go. Then we go back to the nymph skin. And we cut a little piece in the same colour. It's going to go over the top like that. But firstly, what we just have to do with a pair of curved scissors is just remove the top of that CDC carefully. There we go. And we take the first wing case position that and we tie that in that will do us there tie that down remove what's left now we need two more of the CDC stems for the next two legs. These are a little shorter than the last one, so we'll just tie these ones in here. Position them. There we go. Remove those. Good. We need to split the tying thread. Do this. And then another clip. You can see DC in that. Give that a spin. And then we want a couple more turns on there. Like so. Forward again. Trim off on top sides good and then the next pair of legs which we will tie in at the front here like so and the next one in there excellent trim these off and go a little back very good then the next piece of nymph skin is going to go in there, tie it into the legs just like that and tie that in. Okay, that'll do us like that. 
Very good. Then we fold this back and tie that also down. So. We go forward behind the hook eye. It's just small plastic nymph eyes that we use on damsel flies and the like. Excellent. Good. Then we need the antenna. Try and keep these the same length. I'll just put these a bit too long. Put these on there. Good. And then we go back. To that point again, go through that, and then we can trim those off. Spin the tying thread, and when it's flat, you can split it again. Yeah. And we'll take last of the CDC. Place that in and we'll just give that a little bit of a spin. Remainder of the thorax. And we want this nice and tight up here. Forward and that's us there. And we take this. We pull this over, stretching a little. And we tie that down behind the eyes, central. Now we can open up these antenna so we don't lose them. Like that. Then we go in front of the eyes. Right, and over this once again. Just give that tying thread a spin. Right, under there, over that. I hope you can see this. It's a little difficult for me to see that. Good. And then we can do a whip finish. And lift everything up here and go once, twice. Tie that off, give it one more. There we go, I'm going to remove the tying thread. And then before you remove this, careful not to cut off the antenna, but you stretch it like so. And cut it close. Good. And then we'll take the antenna and just give them a little. Adjusting. Nice, and then we give the whole underbody a CDC, a good brushing, because we're going to clip this down. So I need my curved scissors here. Careful you don't cut the legs off. Did I do that then? No, I didn't. Good. There we 
Okay. Well, that's the finished stealth lining.